Hello there. This uh, this video is about um, setting up a simple DHCP uh, environment where you have a Cisco router, Cisco switch, and three client machines, and they will request DHCP from from the Cisco router itself. So, uh, without further ado, I will I will start this um, demonstration. So, what we want to do first is pick up a switch. I'll choose a 2960 and then I will pick a router uh, 2811 let's put that there and then I'll, I'll choose three end devices so we'll just pick three three laptops so one two and the third one there okay so then I'm going to connect the devices together so fast Ethernet zero from the router to the switch it doesn't really matter what interfaces you use but um, just for reference far we know that fast Ethernet uh, zero zero is, is the one where we have to do the work all right so we connect the con the uh, the switch to the laptops like so fast Ethernet zero and the last one fast Ethernet zero Okay, as you can see, the interfaces are, have come up on the laptops already. The switch is still negotiating, so that's down. And these two points here are down because obviously uh, this is a brand new setup config on the on the router, and the interface will be administratively administratively shut down. So let's just quickly check this um, desktop and IP config. We'll change it to DHCP. And you'll notice that there's nothing going on there, obviously, because there's nothing set up. DHCP request failed. Uh, we'll close that one. We'll put that one on uh, also on DHCP. And the final one, also DHCP. Okay, so now time to start doing the work. So we'll go into the command line. We'll skip the initial dialog, the initial setup dialog. Okay, and uh, in we go. So we'll go privilege mode. And uh, what we want to work on is fast Ethernet 0, 0. So uh, interface fast Ethernet 0, 0. And we will give it an IP address um, 216811. 0. Okay, and we will. Uh, enable the interface as I said before it's administratively administratively shut down so I will issue a no shut down and that as you see that's come straight straight up and you can see that by the green interface light there um, the switch is negotiating now so it could take up to 50 seconds uh, due to the uh, the calculations it's doing um, on the switch but that's an, on a later a later uh, video that I, I will explain in more detail about that. So now now we'll do the uh, DHCP config so we'll come out of interface config here and what we do is IP DHCP pool and then we give it a name IP pool 1 and we give it a network address 192.168.1.1 and a class C network mask Sublet mask. Um, notice it's the same range as the interface that we, we apply to fast Ethernet 00. That's important, uh, otherwise it won't work. So we'll do that. We need to assign. Now we're assigning parameters that the DHCP server will give out. It's pretty much like the scope on a Windows server. So default router would be, in this case, the fast Ethernet in, uh, interface on the router. So 1.1. .1. And we'll also supply the, the, the bare essential credentials or, or information. DNS server, in this case, we'll just, just for, for, for the demonstration, we'll give it the, the Google um, DNS server. Okay, uh, the only thing that we, we must do, well, the only remaining item is to exclude certain addresses. Uh, what you must must remember to do is exclude obviously the default gateway address from 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 the IP pool, 
and uh, if, if the DHCP server is on a different IP address or different device um, you must exclude that IP address as well so just to keep it simple uh, we'll do IP uh, ex uh, DHCP exclude so this is a range you're giving it now so we want to include um, 192.168.1.1 um, as an excluded address so let's make things very simple let's do 1.1.1 up to let's exclude the first 10 of IPs 1.10 and that's it right so pretty much we are done here um, right uh, right mem or yep or you could do copy run start either way so that that's, that's pretty much it now um, now what we can do now is head over close the, the CLI we'll head over to one of the laptops that we've configured and in fact if you hover over you will see there that the IP address it's been issued is 192.168.1.4 so I think what's happened there um, we need to do an IP config reset uh, because it picked up an IP address before before we managed to complete the exclusion addresses so we'll go in here command line we'll do IP config uh, renew let's wait for that to happen and there you go Bam, straight away it's got the first available IP address after the excluded range which is which was dot 11 um, let's see the other ones quickly uh, IP configuration dot 2 so the same thing happened there again IP config slash renew dot 12 perfect and I'll do IP config renew dot 13 and there you have it obviously ping the gateway perfect and there we have it very simple um, DHCP set up on a Cisco 2800 router um, and, and that's it the next video would move on to VLANs uh, so please stay tuned and uh, check back soon thanks again for watching bye bye